So, how are your classes going on? Are you attending all the classes? Or are you the one who is missing on the attendance? Talking about myself, my classes are going on by themselves. Yes, I've created a bot that throughout the whole day joins my class, leaves my class and does the same for all the subjects. And today, I'm going to share that trick with you. So stay on till the end. So let us start straight away. Before starting, I'd like to mention that all the links and the code that I'm going to tell during this video would be available to you on Rainiac.in. I'll add the link to the article in the description box below. So first of all, go to Chrome and type github.com slash Tobias Banker slash Teams Auto Joiner and press enter. Again, this link would be available on the article. And here you press the download button and download zip. Okay, open this up folder and extract this to wherever you want. So I want to extract this in my desktop. And yeah, extract. So here on desktop, we got this file. Here it is. So you open this and you see this file. The first very step would be to open this and here you enter the email with which you log into your teams so mine would be 5107665 below you enter the password to this email id uh, i'm not gonna do that now obviously and the third thing where we get into techni technicality so run at time what this means is let's say you're going out at 3 p.m and your meeting is at 5 p.m so what you can do is start the code but don't start looking for the meeting so what you do here is probably you ask the bot to start looking five minutes before the meeting that is 1655 it should be 20 in a 24 hours format uh, the next is meeting mode. Now what meeting mode means is that three meeting mode. One, two, and three. The first one is if your meeting occurs in teams. That means, I'll show you here. The first one is if your meeting occurs in teams. Second is if it occurs in both teams and calendar. And the third one is if your meeting occurs in calendar like this one like all the meetings i have so my meetings are generally conducted in uh, calendar only so i change the meeting mode to three all right now uh, next is organization number now probably all of you would have only one organization on your teams that would be your school so you just leave it to one and then we'll go on to random delay. So what this means is when you come to this interface, when you come to this interface, it will add a random delay of let's say 10 seconds before it presses join now. Now why would you want to do this? So if you don't add this random delay, it would be very clear that a bot is doing it. Why? Because within milliseconds, it would be able to press the join, uh, press the meeting button and then the join now button. So that would be very clear. So I'd suggest you to change this Boolean value to true. And this would be the interval of the delay. That would be 10 seconds. Leave it as it is. Then the next one would be auto live after minutes. Now, what this means is, let's say your meeting is at 6 p.m. So if it's minus one, 
your bot will exit the team uh, meeting at 6.01. So instead of ending at 6, uh, 6 p.m. exact, it would end at 6.01. So what you can, uh, so this means that if it's minus 2, it will end at 6.02. Now if it's positive, that means it will end, uh, it will exit 2 minutes before the meeting ends. So it would end at 5.58. And if it's zero, then that's six exact. So what I do is I leave it to approximately three. That means three minutes before the class ends, because until then the teacher like mostly wraps up. Then uh, something related to the uh, this one is leave if last. If it's false, that means you won't leave if you are the last participant. Last participant, what I mean by last pa participant is that uh, when the meeting comes to the end, all the students exit the meeting, even the teacher exit the, exits the meeting. So if your bot is the last one in the meeting, if you set this to true, your bot will leave the meeting as soon as it sees that there's no one else other than itself. So set this to true. Next is headless. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, headless means uh, when you run the code, would you want the uh, everything to execute behind the curtain or in front of you? Uh, leave it to false if you want to see how the bot does everything. And I'm telling you, as we proceed to the end, you're gonna be amazed. Next is mute audio. Uh, leave it as true. Why? Because mute audio means uh, it will mute your microphone and obviously if you're not there you would want to mute your microphone. Chrome type as Google Chrome. If you're using Chromium type Chromium in it. If you're using Firefox type Firefox in it. But I'd suggest you use Google Chrome. So leave it as it is. Now blacklist, blacklist is something which uh, doesn't quite matter. So like you wouldn't want to blacklist a meeting, obviously. So you remove everything from there to the, yeah. So that's all we have like, conf uh, we have set up the configuration file. Remember to add your password. I will not be doing it now, but towards the end, obviously I'd have to do it to show you the demo. So here you save this. Now, sometimes what happens is you receive this file. Here. You receive this file as config.json.example. So what you do is after setting everything up, you save as, change this text to all and remove the dot example and set this to config.json and save this. So we are done with the JSON file. Now, the next step would be adding the code that would put your bot into a loop. So what that code would be is this. This is a code that I added on my own because I had to put it on loop. What used to happen was when I do whatever it is in here, uh, after 10, 11 minutes, the bot used to stop. I don't know if that's an issue in the code or not because I checked the code. I didn't find any issue as such, but that's all right. So you can do this. This is the code. Uh, what, you, uh, how you do it is open notepad. You'll find this code on reniac.n and copy paste from there. So I'll write that do enter auto joiner. So auto joiner is this file here, Python file auto underscore joiner.py enter code so that's all and you save as and you enter this to your this uh, this file this file and name it um auto run dot bat so save this as all file. BAT means a bad, a bad file. So it is like, it will, it will follow a command, whatever you enter inside. So save it and 
here you go you can see it's not a normal uh, notepad logo it's this and when you tap on it your bot will start running but before that there's one more step which i completely forgot but you'd have to download python so you go to python dot org slash downloads i'll enter a link to this although i don't need to and download python so run this setup file and download install python on your computer now once that's done you're ready to run this so now i've switched to mobile camera to show you all that it's actually the bot who does everything and not me as you can see if i am to type you can see my hands that's why i have kept the keyboard and the screen in frame so this is where the magic begins the auto run file that you made auto run.pat tap on that and the magic has begun as you can see it opens the chrome window my hands are not on the keyboard and my username my password everything is typed in everything is selected and teams opens so now uh, the bot will go to calendar section because i've typed in mode 3 which means my classes are conducted in calendar but um it would it wouldn't join the join a class as there are no classes during this time it's currently 6 pm uh my classes are until 2 pm but i'll still show you what happens in the background here you can see there are no meetings but the calendar is opened all by itself so i'm going to minimize it and i'm going to show you so in this command prompt you can see that at 608 it is looking for new meetings so now what it does is let's say your meeting starts at um a same example let's say your meeting starts at 6 so at if you start it at 555 from 555 to 6 pm it will continuously search for meetings every 10 seconds as you can see every 10 or 11 seconds from your so uh it would be safer for you to start 5 minutes before your meeting and just leave it up to the bot to wait for the exact time and it will join in the meeting for you the updates are that the bot is still looking for new meetings and obviously it won't be able to find one until it is shown in the calendar if you are still watching the video thank you so much for your support before ending the video I'd like to add this point that I know Teams is not the only platform where meetings or classes are conducted. There's Zoom, there's Google Meets, there's Google Classroom, and a few more other platforms. So, if this video reaches 200 likes and 150 subscribers, I know I shouldn't be keeping expectations, but I trust in the student unity, being a student myself. and i know we'll be able to reach it i'd come up with the next video with the platform of your choice this is kanesh signing off thank you